My name is Mia. My pronouns are she, her, and I identify as a Japanese Chinese Canadian artist. If you were to ask my close friends, though, they'd probably add queer or gender fluid to that list, too. Not that I'm against those labels. I think it's quite the opposite, actually. I'm so open to the fluidity of my expression that I simply never felt the need to categorize myself in such a way. I know my ethnic background can't be fluid, but other things like gender identity could change at any point, and most times it does, leaving me a bit confused as to how to label myself along that spectrum. I understand that labels help others understand me better, and for some, they're reaffirmations of their identity. For me personally, I'm comfortable in my ambiguity for now, as it allows me to explore myself without boundaries. Generally speaking, there was always something about me that strayed from what you could consider a normal girl in my younger days. Then come high school, I could feel a desire for belonging and a need to conform, just like anybody else. But even then, if there was one part of my identity I tried conforming to the norm, I balanced it with an aspect of my true self. For example, incorporating Japanese or Chinese elements into my wardrobe, whether traditional or from pop culture. I'm not sure how conscious of it I was at the time, but staying true to myself has always been a core value of mine. From my ethnic background to my gender expression, I know I'm not myself without taking pride in either aspect of my identity. Then came university where I studied fashion. Coming to class decked out in an extravagant outfit was basically the dress code. From dresses to baggy jeans, I liked it all. And I loved that fashion allowed me to explore my gender identity beyond what you could call female fashions and I could incorporate my ethnic background too. Although even at this point, I never considered owning a title other than girl or woman. Why? Well, I knew that people will interpret me however they please and I can't control that. Maybe it's the artist in me, but I'm actually fascinated by the idea of leaving my outward expression open for interpretation like a work of art, as cheesy as it sounds. From my childhood to university to now, I'm just grateful that the people around me supported me and have helped cultivate a space that allowed me to be me. My advice for building confidence is to prioritize yourself. There will always be people who disapprove, but there will also always be people who support, and it's obvious which one you need in your life more. Why seek approval from those who refuse to give it? Explore yourself to your satisfaction and get to know yourself like you would a friend. And most importantly, be there for others also exploring their identity, as nobody gets to their destination alone. I wouldn't be as confident today if it weren't for the help of those around me who either normalized queerness or didn't stop me from exploring mine.